basically attend dance classes, attend bar classes, attend all of, you know, things outside of your home and you're kind of forced to stay in home. So Sideline Prep, for those of you all that don't know, we have actually had a virtual environment for um, well over eight years. So the virtual life is very um, familiar to us. We have been using Zoom for years. So it's kind of funny when people are tr kind of struggling to figure out how to use Zoom and we're like, ah, we're pros, been doing that. <laughs> So um, if you all, regardless, just so you know, um, regardless of where you're located, you're able to work with myself and any of our coaches. Um, Leanne is actually one of our sideline prep coaches. She lives in Philadelphia. So for those that are in that area, you can meet with her one-on-one. -on -one. But if you um, aren't able to meet with her one-on-one, -on -one, we offer virtual um, sessions with all of our coaches as well. Mm -hmm. So one thing that's really important um, from my standpoint of preparation is to make sure that you all are fully prepared in all areas. So we have obviously offered um, a lot of dance classes. We've done flexibility. We've done technique classes. Um, over the weekend, we had a mindset class where many of us were like tearing up and just totally emotional, kind of breaking through some of the mindset barriers that we all have as women. Um, and tonight, we're going to be focusing on making sure that um, you have the foundational strength to be able to execute technique in a very safe way. And you're going to be working muscles that a lot of um, ballerinas and, you know, trained dancers um, work and have strength in. And so that's what bar is all about. And the reason I asked Leanne to, you know, basically help with this is because I started bar um, probably a little over a month ago and realized that I didn't have the foot strength that I thought I had. I did not have the muscle and calf and thigh strength that I thought that I had. And doing bar really showed me um, that I can progress relatively fast and easy if I stay consistent with it. So Leanne is going to go over a lot of the fundamentals of bar. She'll kind of explain it, but she's going to show you how what she's doing will impact and improve your technique. Um, and really help you to have stronger um, foundation to be able to execute um, technical skills. So just a little bit of background on Leanne. Um, I do just as kind of like a little shout out to her. I don't know if you noticed Leanne, but I do have on my Wizard Girl shirt, rocking it for you. <laughs> so Leanne and I were actually teammates. We were Wizard Girls together um, with the whole black, blue, gold theme before they went red, white, and blue Wizard Girls. And we were red, white, and blue red Wizard Girls together. And then um, they became Wizards Dancers. Mm -hmm. So um, I met her obviously through the Wizards organization and absolutely fell in love with her spirit. Um, and just her, overall, she's just an amazing person. And it's no um, surprise to me that she eventually found her way into yoga practice and bar just because of her demeanor, her soft tone, and her gentle voice. It just makes complete sense. I actually attended um, and participated in one of her yoga sessions over the weekend. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, yeah, she was meant for this. So she is a registered yoga teacher. teacher. Um, we posted about her um, earlier this morning and over the weekend. Um, she works, she lives in Philly and works at Two Hearts Dance and Yoga, but she is trained in a lot of things, not just yoga and bar. Um, as a uh, person kind of growing up in dance, she learned ballet, tap, jazz, modern, and all of that good stuff. So she really does have the foundations of a wonderful dancer, which eventually obviously gave her, um, got her the spot on the Wizards. So without further delay, just want to kind of remind you all as you're taking this class, if you um, want to tag her or do any videos or anything like that, if you post them in your story, you can tag us and you can also tag Leanne and I'll be sure to put that in the chat so that you have her handle. For those of you all on IG Live, same thing, if you all tag um, this session, at all in your story. We will give you credit and kudos and repost you, but then you'll also be entered in for a chance to win up to $500 scholarship for our Pro Cheer Playbook 
program. So super excited, we have a full house. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and turn things over to Leanne. I am not gonna be monitoring comments as much, but I will try to. I'm assuming you all won't have a lot of questions. She's gonna lead everyone through this bar class, but I will monitor them because I actually wanna take the class myself. So I'm gonna go into the other room and participate with you all, but make sure that you have her pinned. Um, and if there is an issue, just put it in the chat and I'll try to monitor that every now and then. All right, it's on you now, Leanne. Thank you for being here tonight with us. Yay, thank you so much for having me. Thank you all for taking the time to be with me this evening. You could be other places doing other things, so I appreciate you taking the time to be here with me. And I'm really happy to bring you a bar session today. Um, I've been teaching bar for a couple years now. I found how much that helps me through all aspects of my dancing, whether it's strengthening my feet, or um, kind of loosening up through the hips that also keeps my alignment nice and um, intact. And it really just brings me to a place where I, if I'm consistent with it, I'm seeing the results really quickly. So um, I hope that, you know, if there's anything you can take away from it today, it is that you find some strength, especially in the feet and um, through the lower body, but also finding that alignment um, through the torso, strengthening the core, through the shoulders, all of those good things will help you through any kind of um, dance technique that you're kind of encountering in life. So before I turn on the music and everything, um, one of the very first things that's so important to me is that you take really good care of yourself. So throughout our time today, making sure that if you need to modify anything, feel free to do so. If you need to kind of scale back, that's fine. If you want to challenge yourself and do a couple more reps than what we're doing, feel free to do that. That's fine. Um, I just want to make sure that you're doing everything in the safest manner as possible and always listening to your body. Um, and we're going to start with um, so our bar, wherever you are, <laughs> in your home, in the comfort of your home, finding a bar that's going to work for you. So your makeshift bar, it can be the back of a chair. Um, I'm using the wedge in my um, kitchen kitchen table here, you can use your kitchen counter, the back of a couch, whatever it is, just find a little ledge for yourself. Um, but we're gonna start in the middle of the floor first, we're gonna do a little bit of a warm up, and then I'm gonna talk you through some of the technique, and then we're gonna pump up the music, we're gonna get rolling and get things started, okay? So make sure you have your um, makeshift bar wherever you are. Also, if you want, let me grab these real quick. If you want to add weights to your workout today, feel free to do so. I'm using soup cans. Um, we will do a section, we'll be on the bar for a while, but we'll do a section after our bar section that will be uh, in the center of the floor with some weights. So if you want to grab some cans of soup, shake your cans for me, feel free to do that. Or if you have weights laying around the house, that's awesome too. Of course, you don't have to use them at all if you don't want to. Um, and then, of course, the last thing you need, water, 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 stay hydrated. Um, with bar, we're doing a lot of um, isolated movement. We're doing a lot of um, working a lot of muscles that you might not work normally through, you know, the course of any other kind of workout that you're doing regularly. So really drinking water and staying hydrated is so important through bar. It's going to help you so that you're not so sore tomorrow, fingers crossed. And it's just going to keep you nice and replenished as we're going. Of course, the last thing that I will say before I get started is making sure that you're connecting your breath with your movement. That is so important to me in everything. Um, as you're going, don't hold your breath, <laughs> literally, um, because it's gonna make it harder for you. So see how you can connect your breath with your movement through everything that you're doing. If you're rising your legs, seeing if you can inhale on the rise, maybe exhale on the lower. So whatever works for you, just keeping that flow of oxygen going through the body is so important. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to do a little bit of a center of the floor warm up stretching. So if you want to come away from your bar in front of it, um, we'll just do a warm up here and then I'll talk you through some alignment and technique and then we'll get onto our bars. All right, here we go. Of course, have fun, everyone. <laughs> All right. Ready, Sliff? I'm ready, Sliff. Are you? Oh, yeah, break it down. 
Girl, I must want you. I sense something strange in my mind. Your situation in city eyes. Girl, it comes when running out of time. It's all so beautiful. Relationship facing me from the start. It's all so bad. When love's not together from the heart. It's driving me out of my mind. Never does a big gun look my right, girl. It's If I were you, I'd take the cost. Before I start to lead a fly, you know. Think she's the best thing in the world. She's on She'll drive you right out of your mind. Steal your heart, then you're blind. Beware, she's scheming. She'll make you think you're dreaming. You'll fall in love and you'll be screaming. Demon. Looking for a mellow fella like a boss. Getting paid late to better lay low. Scheming on hot money. Shut up. That local girl looks like a napper. So what you saying, huh? She's winning to you, but I know she's a loser. How do you know me and the two used to do her? Poison ass can be with a high power test. Michael Bishop is here and I'm under the show. Bell, bed to bow. Now you know. Yo, slick blow. It's driving me out of my mind. That's why it's my for me to find. Can't get it out of my head. Never give a number. That girl is. Never cut the big button was fine. She's dangerous. Yo, fella, that was rather dope. Baby G and Fun Fat. Yo, what's up to Ralph T? And Johnny G, and I can't forget about my boy B Brown. We're gonna make our way. I hope everyone's all warm and uh, feeling good. If you need to stretch anything else, feel free to do so while I'm talking here. But I just want to talk us through a few things before we get to the bar. So a little bit of bar etiquette for you. When you're at the bar, you want to put two fingers on the bar. So I'm placing my two fingers on the bar so that I'm not putting all of my weight on the bar, okay? So that's very important because you don't want to put all of your weight onto your bar. That, doesn't, that means you're not strengthening your core if you're relying on something else. So keeping that weight underneath yourself and staying nice and grounded down through the floor, that will keep you from doing that. So keep the two fingers on the bar. Also, as we continue to move on the bar, making sure you're nice and stacked through your torso, okay? So making sure that you have a nice and aligned spine, that the energy is coming out through the crown of your head, you're relaxing your shoulders, 
a lot of us like to put our shoulders up when we're nervous or trying to do something in a workout. So reminding yourself to relax those shoulders. Then the last thing while we're at the bar, we're gonna start in parallel position. So that means our feet are shoulder width apart and the feet are facing forward. But we're also gonna turn out sometimes too. So we're gonna come into first position. So for my ballet dancers, you should already know that first position, your heels are kissing in the center, toes are up on the side. Now making sure that you're not torquing or tweaking your knees and finding a first position that works for you. And also keeping that inner thigh rotation. So thighs should rotate inward. So really feeling that rotation and squeezing your bottom as well as staying nice and engaged through the core, okay? So here we go. I say all that because once I turn on the music, it's a little more difficult to hear me, um, but I will be giving you cues throughout. Hopefully you can hear me on some of those things. So here we go. <laughs> all right. Make sure you're drinking water throughout breathing. Always so important. <laughs> check in with everyone like every like um, most people um just want to, in to make sure everyone's okay like would you all rather hear her instruction or are you all okay with 
viewing her instruction only and keeping the music. Do y'all have a preference? If you could just put it in the chat, just because for anyone that's new to bar, I just want to make sure that you all are doing things correctly. And she's giving a lot of in verbal instructions, but we're not able to hear her because we Does anyone have a preference? I'm completely okay with going without music. No. Rather you hear anyone else? Does anyone need to hear the verbal cue? Totally up to you guys. Stay in there. We still have to do the other side. So stretch it out if you need to. <laughs> Shake it out. <laughs> Grab some water. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it up to you, Leanne, because um, it's it's a mixed, it's a mixed thing. Some people want to hear the verbal, some people are okay with just the music. Um, I'm just worried because I know like I was new to bar. So if there's anyone that's new, I'm just worried that they're missing out on some key instruction from you. Okay, well, I'm completely okay with going without music. I'd rather do that. If you guys want, you can put your own music on in your house in the background. So that way you have music going, you're satisfying both things. <laughs> I'm completely fine with that. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm if that's okay, I just want to make sure they hear you. Of course, yes. So it's very important to kind of hear some of the technique going on so that if you decide to take a bar class any other place. Right, awesome, thank you. All nice and uh, confident in your technique. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead on to the other side without music. Of course, you can pump up your own jams in your house and um, continue to carry on. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the opposite side. What I was saying, when you turn to the opposite side, just a little bit of bar technique. You're turning in toward the bar to get to the other side, just a little bit here. So I'm coming into parallel feet again, shoulder width apart. I'm nice and stacked through my spine, engaged through the core. Outside leg does all of the work and make sure you're holding your shoulder in a comfortable place, but nice and uh, rounded, okay? So here we go. A little bit different without music, but we got this. <laughs> all right, so continuing on to the other side, here we go. Pointing in and pointing in. So we're drawing that heel back to meet the other, making sure that that foot is kind of on a track and you're pointing the foot and then drawing it back for four, three, two, we're gonna add on to this. So point, lift, point and in, and point, lift, point and in, and point, lift, point and in. So very important when you're lifting to keep the abs engaged. So you're not doing the funky chicken dance here. <laughs> you wanna stay nice and engaged through the core. So when you're lifting, the upper body is nice and quiet and you're breathing. Nothing up here should be moving, like you're a nice pretty picture on the top and working really hard on the bottom. From here, we continue point lift, point lift, point lift. So this is where it's very important to keep the abs engaged, no funky chicken dances. Stay nice and lifted through the torso, relax the shoulders, breathe, 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 breathe. Good, from here we pulse, pulse, pulse. So I'm lifting my outside arm to kind of keep me lifted and engaged. And then I'm pulsing, you can pulse at your own pace if you wish. Still pushing down through the inside leg, stay nice and engaged. Breathe for four, ooh, ooh, three, <laughs> and two, and one. From here, we flex it and point it, and flex it and point it. So really flexing that foot, but pointing the foot. Flexing and pointing for four. You got it, three. Keep breathing, two, and a one. And we're back to pulse, pulse, pulse. Remember, your pulse can go at your own pace, or you can continue at the pace of your music, which you should be bumping your jams in the background, absolutely. But I'm so glad that you can hear me now. <laughs> Keep breathing. And for four, three, two, and one. We bend it in, in, and in. So we're coming into a passe for all my dancers who are doing pirouette turns. This is exactly where your foot should be. So foot is coming right into the knee, right into the inside of that knee. Keep breathing. And for four, breathing three. You got it, two. And a one, we open it up and close. So open the thigh, close the thigh. Really continuing to strengthen those hip flexors. Open and close, knee comes out and in. If you wanna draw that knee to the 
um, a little bit across the center line when you bring it in. You can do that. It will stretch a little bit more on the outside of the glutes. You got it. Four, four. Woo. And three. And a two. And a one. We keep it open. We rotate one, two, three, four. Rotate other way. So the thigh is stationary. Three, four. Rotate other way. This is not easy, so make sure you're breathing. Other way, four, three, last one, two, and one. We releve and down. Good. My foot is right to, um, right before the knee, and I'm rising to the ball of the foot. Releve up. This is going to strengthen your feet. Rise up and down. Good. This is very good for your turning. Really thinking about springing off of that ground, pushing all the way to the ball of the foot. We've got two more. You can do it for two. And for one, hold it there. Maybe you find your balance, bringing the hand off of the bar, lower the heels, take a nice big stretch, let it go, yes. Woohoohoo! Rolling up through the thigh. We're gonna turn to the other way. We're still in our tendu section. We're just turning the, the feet out this time. So my heels are going to kiss in the center. Bring the heels together. I'm going to face you just so you can see me. My heels are coming into first position. Toes are coming out. Remember that inner thigh rotation. Squeeze the bottom nice and tall through the spine. Here we go. Pointing the foot. And point, and in, and point, and in. Good. So remind yourself to keep the two fingers on your bar. So you're not leaning into your bar. You're keeping your body weight underneath you. And it's going to make you stronger. Good. Very nice. We have four, we have three, we have two, we have one. Now we're gonna go point and flex and point, draw it in and point, flex that foot and point, draw it in. And now point and flex and point, bring it in and point and flex. We're gonna carry it to the side. We go side and flex and point, bring it center and side and flex. Good, keep it going. Remember to lengthen out of that inside hip. You don't want to push into that hip. You really want to keep yourself nice and tall. To the back, point, and flex it, and point. Draw it in. Now this is where it's important to keep your hips square. So really think about if you had two headlights on your hips, you're keeping those, hip, those headlights going forward. To the side, point, flex it. This is the last time to the side. Lifting out through that hip. Point and flex. Last one and point and flex. We're gonna PK to the front. PK side, PK back. Good. So I'm kind of bouncing that foot that's pointed on the ground. Front, side, back. Now this is where it's really important to keep the hips square. There's kind of a natural tendency to open and open those hips, especially when you're going to the side and back. We have just a few more of these for four. And two. <laughs> Good. We pulse it front. Two, three, four. Pulse it side. Stay lifted out of the hip. Pulse it back. Two, three. Keep the hip down to the side. We have one more round of this. To the front. Two, three, four. To the side. Keep it pulsing. Lifting, lifting to the back. Are you breathing? Breathing to the side. Very nice. From here, we lift up and down. So my foot is just out to the side, a little bit off of the ground. This is not easy, so continue to breathe. Lift out of that inside leg. Very nice. Bring it down. We have round the jambes. So we're making a D on the floor. Bring it center. Make a D on the floor to the side. Back and center, round de jambe to the front, back and center. Good, we've got two more of these. So really keeping those hips square as you make this D outline on the ground for your round de jambe. Two more. I might have said two more twice. <laughs> hey, you guys already know, that's how it is in dance. Last one. Good, we rise it up and down, rise it up and down, rise it up and down. We've got four more for four. Three, woo, two, and a one. Find your balance, maybe, maybe. Lower those heels. Take a nice big stretch, let it go, everyone. 
Shake it out, shake it out, whatever you need to do. And getting ready for the other side. All things are created equal in bar, right? So that means we've got to do whatever we did on that side on the other side. So turning around, we are in first position, still on tendus. Heels are kissing through the center for your first position. Stand up nice and tall. Engage the core, take a nice deep breath. Getting ready for the other side. We point and in and point and in. Remember to keep that the abs engaged remember to point that foot and draw it back into the center relax the shoulders for four and three and two and one we're gonna point and flex and point bring it center and a point and flex and point bring it center we're really lengthening out through that inside leg even though your outside leg is doing all the work you really want to Strengthen that inside leg by pushing down through the earth. You've got two more. You guys are like, why are you losing count? Good, last one. Here we go. We're gonna take it to the side and a side, a flex and point to center and a side. And flex and point to center and a side. And flex and point and center to the back. Here we go and breathe to the back. Point and center and a back. Flex, point. Center and a back, flex, point, center, you're doing great to the side last time, and point, flex it, point it, center, point, flex it, point it, center, point it, flex it, point it, yes, we're gonna hold it here, and a rise, and a rise, good, so my foot is hovering over the ground, and it's pointed, I'm lifting out of my releve, pushing, Time for peak gaze, lower that heel. Point, side, back, side. One, two, back, and side. Good, peak gaze, peak gaze. So a little bit of a tap, tap, tap. Hips are front, to the front, and side, and back. We're almost there, front, and side, and back. Lift out of that inside hip. Good, last one, you're doing great. Good, we lift, two and three, and four, pulse it side, and two, and three, and four, pulse it back, and two, hips are square, are you breathing? You're doing great, one more round, to the front, one more time, to the side, and we're taking it to the back, to the side, good, good, and we lift, and down, and lift, and down, we're almost there, <laughs> good, keep breathing, four, and three, and two, and one. Good, find your balance. Lower those heels, take a nice big stretch. You guys are awesome, let it go. Woo, roll up through that spine. Very good, moving on. All right, so moving on to the other side. Time for our fondues. So fondue means to melt. So we're going to melt our legs, okay? Here we go. So we're in first position. And I'm gonna face you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm bending my inside leg. Other leg comes to the passe in front of the knee. And I'm going to bend and then lengthen both knees. So it doesn't matter how high your leg goes here, but you're lengthening both knees, okay? So we're gonna take four to the front, side back, and then we're gonna move on, okay? So fondues, here we go. We melt and straighten, we melt and straighten two fingers on that inside of the bar good to the side we go melt it and lengthen and melt it and lengthen good really melting those knees and lengthening to the side to the back arabesque good keep that hip down continue to lengthen very nice to the side you guys look lovely keep going remember to connect your breath with your movement very nice, here we go, we hold it four, we hold it three, we hold it two, we hold it one, step it out and out and in. So open side and in, open side. I'm pushing off of my inside leg, coming on the second, second and in. Now option to stay just where you are, that's more than enough, or you can add a hop, your choice. Hop it out and in and out. And in, no matter what you decide to do here, continue to keep your spine long. Keep your bottom underneath you. Squeeze those thighs. Two more. 
Last one. Good. Take a nice big breather. <laughs> Straight, uh, really stretch out those inner thighs. Getting ready for the other side. You guys are doing great. All right, other side. Onto our fondues on the opposite side. So remember to melt those knees. Here we go, front side back. Five, six. Here we go. We fondue and open to the front. And open to the front. Good. Keep breathing to the side and a fondue. And open. Bend those knees. Now straighten, bend the knees. And straighten to the back. Keep the hips down and back. And open. Air up back. Nice and pretty. Good. Breathing. Here we go to the side. Three, two, and one. We hold it here. Lengthen out of the hip. Hold. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step it out to second. Step it out to second. Now, when you're stepping out to second, keep your bottom underneath you. We're not sticking our bottoms out. We're staying nice and stacked through the spine. Option to stay where you are, or option to add your hop, your choice. Here we go. Bring it out and open. Bring it out. Squeeze those thighs. Every single time you come back in, squeeze those thighs. We have four. We have three. We have two. And we have one. Let it go. Let it all go. Woo Very nice, everyone. How are we doing? How are we feeling? So check in with everyone. We're good, we're good. All good. All right, awesome. I see a lot of thumbs up. Drink some water if you need to. <laughs> I know I need to drink water. You guys can hear me breathing without my music, which is different for me. <laughs> so make sure you're drinking your water. We're gonna move on. So this time we're going to face our bar. So if you need to kind of rearrange your face or rearrange your chair that you're using, whatever it is, you're gonna put your two hands on the bar in front of you. And you're gonna put your two fingers because we're not putting all of our weight on the bar, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna face you so you can see what I'm doing, but then I'm gonna need my bar, okay? <laughs> so nice and easy with our calf raises. This is kind of your break, if you will. Our feet are parallel and we're just rising the calves, rising up on the ball of the foot and coming back down. So really pushing up. I know this seems simple, I need my bar but it's really gonna strengthen your ankles, yeah? So when you're pushing up all the way, get all the way to the top of the ball of the foot if you can. And then also see if you can keep the ankles straight. So making sure that you're not wobbling the ankles on the way up. We have a couple more here. We're breathing nice and deep because this is our break. <laughs> Good. We're almost there. For four, and three, and two, and one, I'm very good. You can lower those heels. We're gonna come into a chair position. So I'm going to take a seat, not literally, but in our imaginary chair. So it's not about dropping it low here. We're not getting low, none of that. We're just trying to find a place of comfort, yeah? So find what works for you sitting in your chair. What's most important is the foundation of your chair, yeah? So the legs, the feet that, that keep this chair alive. So looking down at your feet, spread your toes nice and wide, all 10 toes nice and wide, place them down onto the earth again. And then let the knees come behind the toes. Um, really lengthen your core here. So stay tight in the core, relax the shoulders. We're gonna bring our arms up, good. So breathing here, I want you to remember this, muscle memory. And then we're gonna place our hands on our bar. We're gonna straighten up and down. We're doing a couple squats, this might seem kind of basic, but you really want to find that foundation. So really thinking about placing your feet down into the earth, really using your core, and then squeeze your bottom at the top, squeeze it, and lower, and squeeze it. Now you can stay here if you want, the choice is yours, or you can rise to the balls of the feet, making this a little more challenging. So when you're rising to the balls of the feet, it's very important to stay on the ball of the foot, really creating kind of a platform for yourself, then squeezing your bottom at the top, keep the knees parallel. Sometimes they want to draw in through the center. Breathing. Good, from here, we stay seated. Maybe the arms come out through your fingers. <laughs> Energy out through those fingertips. Continue to sit one more time lower, breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Straighten all the way up, lower those heels, shake it out. 
Very nice. We're done with those chairs, all right? <laughs> all right, throw those chairs out the door. It's time for some other things. So I'm going to face you guys because I want you to see what I'm doing. But you're going to face your bar. So two fingers on the bar in front of you. You're going to bend through your left knee. Your feet are parallel. So you're going to bend through your left knee. Right leg is going to come out. Now I want you to turn that foot to face your bar. So you don't want, if you have shoelaces on, you don't want your shoelaces to face the ceiling. You want them to face the bar so that your foot is parallel, okay? And you want to stay nice and long through the, the side bodies so that you're not leaning to one side when you're doing this. Two hands on the bar. I'm going to need my bar in a second, but I'll just to show you. Five, six, here we go. And rise and down and rise and down. Good. So you don't have to rise very high here. Just find that control. Okay, we're starting slow so that we can find the technique, find the control. Remember, I'm slightly bent into my left leg. My right leg is lifting. My foot is pointed. My foot is facing my bar rather than facing the sky. Breathing. I need my bar. <laughs> Six. Here we go. We continue a little bit faster. Now you can always go back to the other pace that you were doing, or you can continue at this pace, your choice. From here, I'm gonna pulse it, okay? Here we go. And we pulse and pulse. I see a lot more people joining. Welcome on. We don't have music this time because I'd rather you hear me talking instead of me yelling over the music. So you can turn up your jams in the back. We're pulsing and <laughs> pulsing and pulsing. Feel free to turn up your jams. Good, we have four more for four and three. Are you breathing? And two. And one, we're gonna lengthen, keep the arms up, find your balance, hold it. We're gonna step the foot back behind us on the diagonal for a curtsy. We're gonna lift that leg, curtsy and lift. Good, so curtsying right behind you on the diagonal, kicking the leg. Now this is not about doing a batma, this is about just swinging that leg as effort, effortlessly as possible. So you can even kind of double pay the leg if it makes it easier. We have four more. Three more, two more, and one more. Shake it out, whatever you need to do. Let it go. All right, getting ready for the other side. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna come onto the other side. I'm bending through my right leg. My foot is parallel. Send the left leg out to your side. My hands are on the bar. Remember to turn. If you had shoelaces on, those shoelaces would be facing your bar rather than facing the ceiling or the sky. So. From here, breathing. Remember to connect your breath with your movement. Rise and down, and rise and down. I'm gonna need my bar real soon in here. <laughs> and rise and down. Are you breathing? Connect your breath with your movement. Six, keep it going, and up, and up. So I'm increasing my pace here. You can always stay where you are. That's more than enough. The choice is always yours. Keep breathing. You're doing great. So continue to lengthen through the side body here. So try not to lean into one side. I know that's easier said than done, but just be conscious of what your body's doing while your legs are moving. Here we go, and we pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. I'm gonna face you so you see what I'm doing, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Five, six, seven, hold eight, hold it four, three, two, and one, curtsy back behind you on the diagonal, and swing it, curtsy back, and swing it, good. I need my bar, but I wanna show you that I'm not worried about what my kick looks like, it's more about loosening the hip and letting that leg kind of swing in the hip socket. So curtsy back behind you, let that leg swing. We have four more, and a three, and a two, and a one, shake it out. Let it go. Very nice. We're doing good. We've got one more section on this bar. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Add a smile for me if you're happy about that. <laughs> All right. So we've got one more section. And guess what it is? The booty section, the butt section, whatever you want to call it, right? All right. So you're going to face your bar, but I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so what's most important here is that your alignment is good. If you need to grab water, I see some people drinking water. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're staying hydrated, that's good. 
So just listen to me while I'm talking, or um, while I'm continuing, you can drink your water. But you want your hips, your knees, and your ankles in line when you're doing this. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to just show you this from this side, I'm going to bend at the waist. So you can bend at a 90 degree angle if you feel good about that. Your bar would be in front of you here. If not, you can come up a little bit higher, that's fine. But you want to keep that alignment. And you'll know you're out of alignment through the bottom part of you if you're leaning in your heels. Okay, so you really want your feet to have all equal standing weights. The hips, knees, and ankles in line. Bend at the waist to your comfort. Keep your abs nice and tight here. That will keep your back flat. If your back is not flat, then you're going to add a lot more extra weight on your lower back when you're doing this, and you don't want to do that, okay? You don't want that. So you want to keep your back flat by keeping your abs tight. I'm going to use this wall. You will lift the leg and bring it in. And you want to make sure you keep your back flat and your abs tight. You don't want to get into this place where you're doing a funky chicken dance and you're moving the torso. Torso should be nice and quiet at the top while the legs are moving, okay? So we're going to get started. <laughs> Time for booty section. Find your plates at the bar. Hands are on the bar. You're going to bend at the waist. Remember to set yourself up for success. So my feet are about shoulder width apart. I am uh, making sure my hips are aligned with my ankles. And then I'm bending with my abs nice and tight, my back nice and flat, okay? So from here, I'm gonna just use this. We're gonna go nice and slow to start so that we know where we've got our technique on. We're gonna point and lift and point, bring it in and point and lift and point, bring it in. Back is flat and lift and bring it in. Are you breathing? <laughs> We're gonna speed it up a little bit more but I really want you to really concentrate on the technique here and keeping the hips down and really finding a nice strong core. Here we go. And point, lift, point, and in, and point. Lift, point, and in, we're breathing. Lift, point, and in, from here, we keep it going. Point, lift, point, and lift. Point, lift, point, lift. Point, lift, good. Keep it going. From here, we pulse, pulse, pulse. Now making sure the abs are tight here. You don't want to put extra weight on the lower back. You can take a micro bend in the supporting leg if you need to. And continue to breathe, pulsing. Two, three. From here, we're going to bring it in and open. Bring the knee in and open. Knee comes in and open. Knee comes in and open. And for four. We're open and for three, it's open and for two, it's open and for one. Big circles go around and for two and for three and for four, reverse it and for one. Remember these circles can be at your own, um, however big or small you want to make them. Last one, let it go. Good. So if you want to come to a figure four, or if you want to bend at the waist, really allow yourself to let that go, shake it out, whatever you need to do. And we're gonna get ready for the other side. We're almost done with our bar section here. All right, so getting ready for the other side, remember to set yourself up for success. The hips, the knees, the ankles are in line, making sure you're not leaning in your heels. Engage your core, flatten the back. Right leg, or whatever leg you didn't do, goes. We point. We lift, we point, we bring it in. We point and lift and point, bring it in. Now when you're lifting, really keep that hip down. You wanna keep the hip square. Seven and eight, we go. Point, lift, point and in. A little bit faster, point and in. Point, lift, point and in. Very good, we have four. We have three, are you breathing? And a two. And a one, very good. We point, lift, point, lift, point, lift. Now this is where you keep your back nice and flat. Engage that core. No funky chicken dances. Keep it nice and strong. Keep that hip down. You can bend in the supporting knee. We're almost there. And for four. We lift in three. We lift in two. We lift in one. Pulse it. Here we go. And pulse, pulse, pulse. Good. Remember, you can keep this 
pulse at your own pace. Bend the knee if you need to. We have a four. <laughs> we have a three. We have a two. And the one, bring the knee in, bring it in, and open. You're almost there, keep going, and then in, and open. Keep it going, are you breathing? And open, breathing in, and out, breathing in. Last set, we have our big circles, here we go. Circle one, and circle two, and circle three, and circle four, reverse it, this is not easy. <laughs> three, and a four, let it go everyone. Very nice, a figure four always helps with that. We're just bending at the waist. All right, yay! Just a round of applause, you graduated off of the bar. We're gonna come off of the bar, do some center floor work, and then we're gonna cool it down. <laughs> How's everyone doing? We got thumbs up, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yes, I see you sweating, glistening, and looking beautiful, thank you. <laughs> Make sure you're drinking water. How are my IG people doing? Are you sweating? Listening? <laughs> awesome. All right, grab some water if you need to. We're gonna move on into our next section. If you want to grab weights, I have some cans here. You can grab them. If not, that's cool. We've got one song to do for upper body. And this is kind of to even us out, right? We did all this lower body stuff. Now we gotta loosen up the upper body and get that strengthened, okay? So I'm gonna turn on the music for this part because you don't really need to hear my cues and we're just gonna burn it out real quick. <laughs> All right, so weights are optional, of course. Um, you can really choose to have them or not. And we're gonna get right into it. All right, here we go. Ba -ba. Thank <laughs> you. 
Of course, drink lots of water. Stretch, 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 so that you're not blaming me for being sore tomorrow. <laughs> and have a great night. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys did awesome. Thank you. That so was awesome. Thank you so much. I know, I don't know about you all, but whenever you would say breathe, I really realized I was not breathing. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Um, so really quick, does anyone have any questions for um, Leanne just about uh, being a professional cheerleader, about what she does with, um, you know, yoga, bar, you know, how those types of workouts help with dance. Um, any questions at all for Leanne before she hops off? I have a question. Yeah, sure. Um, go ahead. How do you um, get looser inside of your, um, your kicking leg? I, um, my good leg is actually not a dancer's leg. I have a strong left leg, but my right leg gets stuck. So when I do my batmas, I can I have both splits. Um, um, but when I go and do my batma on my right side, um, my leg tends to get stuck just at my face. It doesn't come as far up as I know it can. And I don't know what the, what the recipe is to cure that. Yeah, um, so there's no like magic recipe, but what I would say is to continue to like stretch that out as best as you can, maybe even increasing the amount of stretches that you're doing on that side. But then things like this, um, like the isometric kind of movement, like continuing to pulse the leg while you're holding it up, that's gonna kind of get it over that hump, if you will. Um, you just strengthen it so that you can get past that place, if that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, and I've definitely noticed with um, yoga, and I don't know if you all have heard of Payo, but it's a um, beach body workout, and it blends Pilates and yoga, and it has a lot of like what Leanne is talking about with like, it's not just staying still, it's kind of using pulsing and movement to help with flexibility, and I know that really got me super, super flexible as well. Um, so that's something else maybe to consider something similar to that. To that. Absolutely. Um, okay, awesome. Any other questions, guys, before Leanne hops off? And then we can stay on and I can answer any other questions that y'all might have. Let me just go through um, chat really quick. Just got a lot of comments, um, Leanne, just about how great it was. This was excellent. Legs are on fire. Thank you. Thank you so much. Feeling inspired after this class. Thank you so much. Thank you. Like tons of thank yous. So awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Any other questions, ladies? I have a question. All right. Well, thank you. So, oh, wait, did someone say something? Yes, me. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Okay. I just, did I see, is it recording? Will we be able to, because I, I definitely would like to do this like a few times a week because I've been having some issues with my hamstrings where and my, my physical therapist before all oh, everything shut down, uh, this was the type of thing, the isometrics was something he was suggesting for me because I'm having some issues with my hamstrings and my glutes. Um, I went from being perfect in my splits and kicking up at my shoulder my face to all of a sudden like my left leg doesn't want to do anything and it's barely hitting a 45 and it just it all of a sudden like kind of locked up in there and this is the stuff he told me to be doing so is it re do i see that it's recording will we be able to like replay this back at home yes so i wasn't able to stream it live in our facebook group so instead i recorded i'm recording it on my um lap not my laptop but my actual desktop over at my in my office area so as soon as it downloads i will upload it um tonight so that everyone has access to that um and then also as a reminder um i'm sure you all realized it but just with me i think i was maybe did um bar blend maybe about a month and i could be like i was so impressed with myself doing leanne's class because i was able to like actually stay in releve and my feet are stronger like these ugly things are stronger and i'm so excited about it <laughs> so i'm telling you all if you all just repeat even just leanne's class you're gonna see a difference in just the strength in your toes your feet your ankles your legs everything um 
just because it, it works. So definitely utilize that workout. Another one for flexibility as well. Um, Sadie put in a stretching and flexibility one. That one's in our Facebook group. And then Leanne has agreed to come back at some point later as well to um, go do a yoga session with you all as well. So um, definitely we'll keep them in the Prep to Pro Facebook group. We'll gather them all in a unit. And then that way y'all can just go to units and see them all right there. Yeah. Um, and I know that this is like something you probably don't want to hear, but I want to remind like everyone that our body, like our physical being is connected to our mental state as well. So I just want you all to remember that even if you feel as though something is out of alignment or something isn't working or something isn't flexible anymore or all, all of that, nine times out of 10, it's because you're fixated on the point of it not being like it used to be. So you're fixated on it won't work anymore. It's not as flexible or I'm not able to do this anymore. So if you all are really just get into the visualization of seeing yourself, yourselves, being able to get in your split, get, being able to do those kicks, being flexible again, that's like part of the connection as well. I mean, and Leanne can probably speak to this a lot better than I can, but she practices the whole idea of mind, body, spirit, and the connection of all of that through yoga, through bar, and through everything that she does. So just remember that it's mental as well. Absolutely. And just the thing about the feet, like when I was saying in the chair position to spread your toes all the way out and place them back down onto the ground, that's going to create like an equal standing weight for you so that you're not leaning back in your heels and you're not pushing forward in your toes. It's really strengthening the feet. Like think about your feet as your roots. So you're grounding those roots down into the earth so that the rest of your body can be nice and tall on top of that foundation. So really thinking about the feet, like for me, just to kind of go off of feet a little bit more for me all day while I'm at work, now that I'm home, I do the same thing too, but I have these little balls and you can get them from anywhere, even like a tennis ball or a racquetball. Um, sports stores have like the ones with like, yes, Sadie, yeah. Or like the ones with like the spikes on them and you can literally roll your foot on the ball just while you're sitting watching TV. It's gonna help break down some of the feet, um, like the tension in your feet and it's gonna help feet from underneath so that you can stand up tall, literally, you'll stand up taller on your feet by doing that. So really, we spend a lot of time on our feet, a lot of us walking, running, doing things on our feet all day, but we don't take care of them enough. So if you can find that strength from underneath the feet, you're gonna automatically get stronger from within. Yep, and it makes such a difference, guys. I mean, I went from, and it just from working and concentrating on my foot and ankle strength, um, I went from, you know, never being able to really turn to one time a wizard girl being able to do a triple turn. And it was because I, my fellow whereas before I just, my feet weren't strong enough to do that. And so it was just a combination of different exercises, like what Leanne went over tonight. And then I know I've shared with our pro chair playbook lovelies, the Vibram five finger shoes, mm -hmm. because those really help with like your toes, like strengthening everything about your feet. So that's another thing that you can just buy a pair of those and walk around in those as well. Even dance in them. I mean, when I was a wizard girl, I used to practice my dances um, at home in those shoes just because it really helped with foot strength. All right, awesome. Any other questions before Leanne leaves us? Let me make sure. Okay, yep. Um, oh, how often should I add bar into my workout routine? Um, so you don't wanna overdo anything, right? <laughs> but the thing with bar is the more you are consistent with it, the more you'll see the results. Like when I first started out with bar, I. I almost hated it so much because I was like killing myself. But then when I realized that um, I was doing it maybe twice or three times a week, it became like a part of my muscle memory so that I wasn't sore anymore. I'm just starting to see the results. You can literally see your legs starting to sculpt out and starting to find the like defined muscle mass that you're looking for. So I would suggest maybe starting off twice a week you don't want to like shock yourself, <laughs> but then maybe increasing it to where it makes sense. Um, and you know, with this video, maybe you can do like 
take a segment, maybe it's like the tondu section, do that for one day and then maybe do, you know, the booty section for another day and then combine it all together. You know, you can break it up how you want, but I would say con being consistent with it is going to yield you the results that you want for sure. And you just was tired. <laughs> Literally, if I wasn't doing this every other day, I it, it is really exhausting. So um, keeping the consistency, you'll get to a place where you're not tiring out and you'll get the endurance and you'll get the muscle memory. Yeah. And, you know, she was able to talk while she was doing it. Like the whole time I was like, how is she even speaking? But she reminded me so much of the bar blend lady for Beachbody. So I want to echo a million times take it slow because I was doing bar blend and it was Monday it was basically five days in a row, like literally either like a 20 to 30 minute workout and you got two rest days. And I started to lose flexibility, even though there was a cool down and a stretch at the end. So I don't want that to happen to you all because you'll start to feel tight and you'll get frustrated because your kicks won't be as high, but utilizing this and putting it in, like she said, a couple of days a week will really help you with, just strengthening your feet and your legs so you can get up higher in your leaps, your turns will be better and all of that, but definitely don't do it every single day, five days in a row or anything like that because you will start to lose flexibility. <laughs> don't do it. Learn from my mistake. <laughs> don't burn out. Yeah. <laughs> all right, awesome. Any other questions for Leanne? I don't think so. All right, well, thank you so much, Leanne. I so appreciate you. Uh, in contact, I will. Look forward to the next time. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, bye. <laughs> all right, ladies, any questions for me? Anything that you all um, need assistance with or help with? Um, really quick, just want to remind everyone, if you um, haven't had a chance to look at the session that we had on Saturday, um, it's definitely worth kind of listening to um, just as you're cleaning or stretching or whatever. I've received so many text messages um, from people. So like just today, I wanna read this one to you. It just said, hey Janine, just wanted to say I am watching the mindset replay while cooking and I am in tears halfway through. I have to go back and take notes because I kept rewinding, LOL, but oh my God, I'm speechless. It's so much I need to let out. And so I just want you all to understand that it's okay to be in a place where you need to release. Because sometimes as women, we keep it all in, we try to fight through, we are queens, we are powerhouses, we are indestructible, we are empowered, we think that we have to be strong, not just for ourselves, but everyone around us. And it's impossible to keep that going all the time. So it is okay to release. And I just want to remind you all of that. I literally said to her, girl, so many people were emotional, including me. It's okay. Get it out. I'm here if you need to chat. So, you know, she replied after that. But I just want to kind of just reiterate that it's okay. Um, and to listen to that training because I gave so much content. It was so funny. Um, my boyfriend, he was listening. He was like, you know, Janine, literally that could have been like six different sessions. <laughs> and I was like, I know. I couldn't help it. I just kept talking and talking. Uh, but there's a lot of content in there that I learned way too late in life. So I just, you know, want to take things that have been instrumental in me pushing forward, um, you know, over the past couple of years and share those things with you all. Because the, the younger that you learn those things, the better. Um, so that's just a quick reminder. And then also all of our sessions up to this point are in the prep to pro Facebook group. So go back and utilize those, learn those. Um, and if you all want, you know, we have right now an opportunity for video critiques um, that's 75% off. So take advantage of that definitely as you all are preparing for your auditions and um, creating those videos. We just have a lot of opportunities that we normally only allow for our Pro Cheer Playbook lovelies that we're opening up to other people. Um, for those that are on in our Pro Cheer Playbook program or graduates of, remember that stuff is free for y'all. All you have to do is record and post it in the Facebook group and tag either Sadie and I and we will give you all feedback on all of your stuff. So it's unlimited for you all just as a reminder, don't forget that. Um, any questions? Oh, please make sure y'all stretch tonight. So she went through a really, really quick stretch. That's not enough. 
it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. Please stretch or else you will be tight tomorrow. Um, so any questions, guys, on anything approach here related at all? Um, yes. I'll wait a few seconds to see. Yep, go ahead. Um, two questions. I, um, yeah. I know that you, I, I was so upset that I missed the Saturday's um, talk session and I, I'm not, I'm terrible with technology, um, but I was trying to find it and I didn't know where to look for it. It sounds so ridiculous that I'm still not able to manage to get through this, but I couldn't <laughs> find it. All right. And you're in the prep to pro group. Um, no, I did a few, um, I did a partial session with you last year, which by the way, um, helped land me onto a pro, a semi pro cheer team. Um, I, you commented on a couple of things for me. Uh, yes, you know, I've I seen just, your picture. Uh, yes, yes. I, Hold on, I, wait, wait, wait. We have to unmute so we can all say congratulations. <laughs> Hold on, uh, Sadie, uh, let's see. I, I don't know if I can unmute everyone. Hold on, wait, wait. Shoot. The momentum is now dead. Sadie, I, oh, no. can I make you oh, forget it? I can't figure out how it's to. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's okay. But yay! Yes. Yay. yay! I I am, you know, um, I'm truly, truly, truly uh, thankful to all of, you know, and, and I never even got to be a part of your full program, but just that small um, portion I was able to get from you uh, really, you know, lit, something you know in me to help me keep going because i i auditioned for pro teams for 11 seasons in a row and i never but the, the difference was there were there were obviously obstacles things that happened um that didn't allow me to put the time into myself to train properly um the times that i did not make the teams that I wanted to make, um, they, I knew exactly why, you know, I, I, you know, obviously when I started out when in my early twenties, I, you know, just was like, Oh, I can just sure, you know? And then I didn't, when I didn't make it, um, and I started to realize there was more I needed and I uh, came across your program and started learning all of, you know, the ins and outs, to the professional cheerleading world because like you I was a track star you know and I was a cheerleader I was my varsity cheer captain I was a cheerleader all through college why not I can why not you know and I just didn't I didn't have everything that I needed <laughs> she left us <laughs> all right hold on she'll probably come back in a second uh, Janine, did she yeah. say, is she with the San Diego Guardians? Um, I think she was my teammate this past year when I made the Guardians, but I ended up moving back here to the East Coast because I looked at her, I was like, she looks so familiar. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen her pictures in uniform, though, recently. So, yeah, when she comes back, we can ask her. I can't remember, but I think so because she is on um, the West Coast, I believe. Yeah, I saw the sun in the background. I was like, she's in San Diego. <laughs> such a small world right yep she was my teammate that's her yep <laughs> I've danced with her she has a, her coach was my coach <laughs> that's too funny such a small world mm -hmm. all right I don't see where did she go let me see I did figure out how to unmute so when she gets back we can give her some love when she gets back all right, awesome. Well, that's awesome news. So excited to hear that. Um, and I actually saw her in North Carolina too at a convention. So um, all over the place. All right, what other questions? Anyone else have any questions? Anything I can help you guys with? Y'all are quiet tonight. You sure? You sure? Anything? Anything? Sadie, are there any questions that you're getting? Um, that I need to address or go over with everyone? Any common questions that are coming up in the Facebook group or in chat with DM? Um, no, I don't think so. A lot of things that I've been kind of hearing is around virtual trainings, but I've kind of been directing them to the videos that are coming out and whatnot. And we also have a video coming out tomorrow um, on the content of what will be in your video submission. So be sure to watch that as well. 
Um, but yeah, everything pretty much is centered around like video auditions and whatnot. So, and you're answering all those questions in your videos. So. Okay, perfect. Yep. So we turned our two part series into a four part. So last week was about creating the video itself. This week is about the content of your video. So I give you tips on what the judges are looking for, for your intro speech, your dance, um, your freestyle technique, um, your interview, all of that good stuff. Um, next week will be about the pre-work, so your application, your, um, your photos, uh, application photos, resume, cover letter, all that good stuff. And then the fourth video will be about your look, your appearance, and we're going to actually give you all some suggestions on home remedies for tanning and if your roots are growing out and like how to do your hair, your, you know, all that type of stuff since we can't go to salons and do all of that. Uh, but I do want to let you all know that for the most part, organizations are going to give you all grace. Organizations are going to give you a pass on some things, but there are some things like tanning um, where there's really no excuse. You should be able to still um, go to the store and get the necessary products um, because, you know, most like Walgreens and things like that are still open. And even the grocery store carries some self tanning products as well. So in some cases, they're going to be okay. Like if you aren't able to get your hair colored, but there are, you know, they still expect full hair, makeup, all that type of stuff. But we'll go over some home remedies for that as well. So that will be a four part series. And then just so y'all know for video critique and all of that, Oh, yeah, there, Sadie has two products there. <laughs> so we'll be sure to add a buyer's guide so that you all can have a list of all that stuff. Um, we're only accepting 25 ladies for the video critiques. Um, and we already have, I think, about five slots taken um, just within a couple of days. So if that is something that you all want, even if the um, dates have not yet been announced, almost all teams are going to ex expect virtual. So um, I would go ahead and grab it. Um, it's like 75% off right now. And then also if anyone wants choreography, so we'll be sending out um, an email offering that as well. Um, if you need choreography for freestyle or improv or a solo dance, um, we'll be helping people with that. So uh, and, and that is discounted as well. And then all of our one-on-one -on -one sessions are 50% off as well. So we'll be sure to put that in the prep to pro group so y'all can get the coupon code for the virtual sessions. And I think that that's about it. I don't see any questions coming in. So I am not going to leave you all on here for too much longer. I think it's wonderful that y'all are here. Um, Wednesday is Meg's. Yes. Megs with technique. So she'll be going over. I think we're going to do either advanced technique or we might be doing sexy walk freestyle. Do you remember what you all said the last week? What was going to be this week? <laughs> I was, that was like the only one that I've missed so far. Um, so she'll be working with us on technique. Oh, no, no. Wednesday is Liz. Wednesday is Liz. Yeah. So guys, Liz is going to be on Wednesday. So Liz is a lovely, I helped her with um, Wizards um, auditions. So she actually worked really closely with Megs um, to um, get her on Wizards. So she made Wizards and then I recruited her to Redskins. So she just finished her rookie season with the Redskins. So she's going to teach you all a routine on Wednesday. So we'll be dancing again on Wednesday. Saturday at 12 Eastern is Megs. And then Sunday at um, 12 Eastern is Jada. And Jada is a former Bucks cheerleader and Jags cheerleader. So she is actually going to be teaching you all a routine that she taught last year that actually was on the field game day routine that they actually used for um, Jags. So that's an amazing opportunity. She's one of our sideline prep coaches as well. Um, so that's the schedule for the week. Stay connected with us. I don't see any other questions coming in. Y'all are gorgeous and beautiful, and I appreciate you all being on. Um, let me see if I can... Um, if, I'm going to take a screenshot of your beautiful faces. So smile. Let's see. One, two, three. Got it. All right. Have, oh, and I figured out how to unmute so we can all say good night to everyone. <laughs> all right. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.